everyone welcome back to the channel and on this video i'm going to show you how i'm going to plant this beautiful nancy tree right there let me show you the tag in case you're interested it's called nancy tree okay in spanish it's called nancy and it, the the fruit is a um cherry yellow yellow uh looking um cherry um it's a yeah it's like yellow orange and it's the same family of the cherries so um that's how the the fruit looks like and i already have the spot right here that i already selected ready to plant and i'm going to show you how i'm going to plant it because see some sometimes when we buy trees right from the from the store the the roots are not really fully grown they're pretty small and even though the tree looks big right the the tree might look big but sometimes the the roots on the bottom they're small so what happens is that when you try to pull the the tree from the pot then the ball of um the, the ball of uh of uh, of dirt starts to crumble and in the process when it crumbles it breaks the roots and ends up uh, damaging some of the roots and then when we plant the tree then the the tree uh, we see that okay the tree is not doing so good and sometimes it dies so that's because we damaged the roots in the process when we took it out so the the thing is that um when the the roots are small that's when um the, you have to do um uh you do you have to do it more carefully so the tree doesn't get damaged in the process when you plant it so i'm gonna show you how um i do it uh right here this tree um let me get a close-up okay right here this tree on the edges it's hard to to show on the cameras but on the edges when um when the roots are really uh big if you move the the trunk of the tree right if you move the the tree like this uh sideways okay then if you try to move it around you get to see that it starts to separate okay so i'm gonna try to see if i can show you on the camera but um it's hard to to show it on the on the camera but um that's one of the ways that you can tell when the the roots are are big right they're you know pretty much uh big in in the pot so you uh you wiggle it right you wiggle the tree and then you can see that it begins to separate from the uh, from you know from the from the pot okay so that's one of the ways that you could tell that okay the roots are big and you can okay um, after you tap it right you tap around the, the the pot to get it loose then you can pull it out and you can tell that it separates right when you wiggle the tree it kind of separates around the, the the pot but in this case in this case right here uh, I'm gonna get a close-up okay in this case when I wiggle the tree right there you can you can see that um, right here it, it begins to crack right here okay hopefully this comes out on the video okay there's the dirt so right here look okay let me okay pat the uh, the soil okay so when I start moving the tree right there you you can see that it starts to to break apart right there see right there you can see it okay that is the soil it begins to break apart so that means that if i continue trying to pull the tree out there's chances that i'm gonna I'm damage the roots because you can see that the dirt already trying to break break you know um uh from the tree uh, the root right it, you know begins to crumble so that's one of the ways that you could tell that okay the the roots are not so big because when the roots are big, when you wiggle the tree, you start to see the separation on the edge of the pot. Right here, you see the, the, the separation there. On the edge of the pot, that's when the roots are very big. But in this case, right there, okay, got blurry there for a second, right there. See, right there, you can see the dirt splitting. So I know that if I pull the, uh, the tree, then the the whole uh, ball of dirt is going to crumble and in the process going to damage my roots so i don't want to do that because right now this tree looks very healthy i just got it um yesterday on the mail and i don't want to damage it you know right now it looks it's looking really good so um so what i'm going to do is going to pretty much with the scissors i'm going to cut the pot 
straight down, right? Cut it straight down. And before I do that, I'm going to cut this part. Okay, right here. Uh, let me see if I could do it with one hand. I'm gonna put my feet there, my shoe. Okay, so with this, uh, with this scissors, this is a um, a scissor that cuts metal. Okay, so with the, this scissor, I'm going to cut along the base, the bottom. You start from the hole, right there. You start from the hole, and then you uh, you start cutting the bottom, right? The whole bottom all around, and and then after you you cut it all around, that's when uh, I'm going to cut straight down, straight down, and when I cut straight down, that's when when uh, I'm going to uh, pretty much remove this. But by that time, this is going to be in into the uh, into the ground. So uh, right now, um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and do it so you can see the whole process. That way, when you plant some trees with this situation, then you know what to do. Okay, so let me show you right now. All right, so hopefully this comes out good in the video. I'm going to go ahead and show you. All right, so I got the scissors. Okay, let me uh, fix the mic. Okay, that way uh, the audio is also good. All right, so, um, so I'm going to cut on the bottom, okay. Okay, hopefully this is coming good. Okay, just like this. I'm gonna do it with the. Uh, I was gonna do it with the other hand, but I guess um, so I can come in the camera. I'm gonna show you this way. Okay. they're thicker the plastic is thicker right the pot so it's gonna take a little bit longer but you know little by little you start cutting around and when the pots have these holes they're um, they're very helpful because it's easier to um, to cut it okay almost there and right there okay we reached the we completed the circle Okay, so now this is loose okay so if I pull this out it's gonna fall off right the, the, the plant um, so now I'm going to go ahead and put it inside I, I grab it from the bottom okay so see it is already cut all around okay and I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it inside the hole but let me check the camera to make sure it does uh, it does show on the video I grab it from the from the bottom okay and I'm going to go ahead and uh, position the the tree okay let me just make sure it's the right position where I want it okay because when you want to plant the tree when you plant it you want to double check before you actually put it you want to check the how the tree you actually want it right the position okay so right there Okay, let me stand back a little bit just to make sure. All right, so that's the position that I like. And now I'm ready to go ahead and cut down on the, on the plastic right here. Okay, so this is how you do it. Continue being gentle, but one of the things that um, you'll notice is like pretty much the tree, you 
know, it's almost uh, completely intact, right? Because you know you didn't pull it, you didn't you didn't jank it, right? From the from the base, uh, from the pot, I mean. Okay, so the tree is um, you know pretty much mostly intact, um, and I I think it didn't feel nothing, right? Uh, okay, so now I'm ready to go ahead and put some dirt. Okay, so right here I got some already pre-mixed out there, so I'm just gonna throw it around. And I know um, I haven't forgot about the base. The, the the base of the the pot is still there, and don't worry, I'm I'm going to go ahead and remove that. I just need some uh, some dirt around to help support the 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 tree, the the pot, because I don't want the pot to okay to split open. So this is just like a like a cushion, like a cushion around. Okay, that way I have some support. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and remove the the piece that I cut, the the bottom piece of this part. Okay, so gently I hold these two together, right? And I'm going to go ahead and remove. pulled it out and without disturbing the tree without messing with the tree with the roots okay there you go see now okay hopefully I got this on camera there you go okay and now I'm going to go ahead and continue putting some more dirt around so it helps like a cushion and to hold the, the whole root ball together but remember the idea is to not disrupt the the root ball, right? The roots. Once you start building the uh, the the dirt, right? Okay, that's when um, when you little by little you start pulling this off. Okay, the base of the uh, I mean not the base but the the plastic part you start pulling it up. See. putting more dirt around it you continue to pull this up okay so that's the idea more dirt around and then at the same time pulling the uh, the plastic uh, pack. I'm going to go ahead and add some um, worm poof actually it's worm casting <laughs> you know but that's how um, it's called like a nicer name worm poop I mean not worm poop <laughs> uh, worm casting and uh, it's worm casting but it's actually worm poop okay so that's gonna give you some nice nutrients okay I'm gonna add up a little bit more another scoop all right and throw more dirt can completely remove the whole plastic thing there you go okay just like that very simple look at that and we hardly this this uh, disrupted the tree and especially the roots right hardly disrupted the roots and like if never happened right there look at that beautiful easy and you know better for the tree because we did not we did not um 
cause that much damage to the roots. And so that this is how you do it. This is how you do it. Uh, this is how you plant a tree when the roots are very small and you do not want to disrupt the roots. You don't want to damage it. This is how you do it. Very simple, very easy. And like I said, if you have somebody else to help you out, it's much easier, but you can also do it by yourself. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Help support my channel by subscribing. All right, so thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.